Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back to Let's Play Swicked It on the Sony PlayStation. Last time, we explored some of the areas uh, on this kind of newish continent. Well, I think it's the new continent. Um, and got some uh, new party members for our efforts. I don't remember if we explored this town down here, but we'll go ahead and do that real fast. Uh, but yeah, our goal right now is to get a antidote for the poison that was used on us in the battle where they, you know, poisoned us and killed us right away. So we got to figure out where the guy that makes that is. I think they said it was up to the north, but I'm just getting all these other towns on my exploration, so it's never a bad idea. I think we might have explored this town, but I don't remember right off the top of my head. Uh, this is like a fortress or something, right? Yeah, so near, we've already been here. And they won't let us in. Okay. So, that only leaves a couple of places to go. Um, I'm going to guess that we're going to have to eventually cross that bridge to the north. Holly Ferry, huh? Uh, sure, die. I mean, these guys are just like a stronger version of, I guess, the Holly Boys in the woods over by... The Cobalt's Forest. Either that or they're, they're the exact same. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, let's explore these couple little dots right here. And then we'll go ahead and make our way back over towards the north. And hopefully that'll get us to, well, where we gotta go. And if not, well, oh well. See, this is just a bridge. I don't know if we actually have to go on the bridge right now. Actually, we probably don't, since, like I said, we actually do want to go north. But there could be something over here that we... that we like. Is this just gonna... Okay, Lorimar. I guess we can't even get past it, so... There's that out of the way. And then... This town up here. I don't know if we've actually been there. Okay, let's go for the Holly Fairy there. You go for a Falcon Rune on the Creeper. You go for a Rainstorm on everybody. You just attack that guy. Gremio. I didn't realize you actually had this. The, the water thing. I think Fog of Deception does something like, um, Raises our evasiveness, or raise, or lowers their evasiveness, or something. Something to do with dodging, I think, but I'm not entirely sure. Bye bye. Well, at least the frog died, and that's all that counts. I tried talking to that guy in Ante that had the the urn from Holly's owner. Uh, I'm, I don't recall who Holly is, but he still wouldn't give it to me. So, oh well. Oh, Scarletitia. I guess this is... Hey, this pollen is weird. Tyr, we better retreat for now. Okay, so this is where we're going to use the, the antidote that when we get it. Okay, fair enough. Now... Let's go ahead and check out that, um, that, uh, oh, Raging Blow only hits one person, okay. Uh, check out that town to the northwest there and see if that does anything for us. If not, well, at the very least we'll try. We probably shouldn't be using all of our magics on these guys, but eh, we'll live. We can just teleport back for a heal whenever we need to, so I'm not terribly worried. And that did a lot of damage there, that level 3 spell. 1300 damage. I think that's the most damage we've done with, well, anything at this point. Unless I'm forgetting something. And Cleo, you're still not getting your levels. So, we're either gonna find the antidote over here, or on that bridge to the east. This looks like it might just actually go through the mountain, though. Dragon's Den. What is this? Nothing. 
That's probably just another way out. Beyond this point is the domain of the Knights of the Dragon's Den, as designated by the Emperor. No one is permitted to enter. Please? Okay. So yeah, we're not going to be going there. So it looks like our goal is just over towards, well, up the east there. And it might be... Hmm, I was going to say that little dot on the island, uh, northeast of that, but that's probably just our our base now that I'm thinking about it. Northern checkpoint. We can get through here, right? No one is permitted to travel north beyond this point. The city-state of Jouston is just ahead, but the border is closed to the general public. Oh, I see some uh, treasures. That's always nice. Okay, so that's not where we gotta go. I'm pretty sure they said it was towards the north. Unless we have to take our... We might have to take our boat to get to wherever it is we're trying to go. Other than that, I'm stumped. I mean, I might just have to go back towards the towns and talk to everybody off screen until I get another hint, but I'm kind of curious as to where the heck we got to go here. I don't think there was anybody in here that we cared about. Yeah, TN. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay, none of that stuff that I care about. Yeah, so that poisonous fog, I just saw that. But where does he live? I thought you said it was to the north, but I don't know where he's at. Like, we saw his house in, um... We saw his house over in a different village, but I don't know where the heck we... Wait. During experiments. That guy might be the person we need. But I thought we saw the other guy in... One of the other towns here. I guess we're not strong enough for you yet. Yeah, he's, he, at least that guy specifically says, Hey, you gotta be X level for us to join up or whatever. Well, what do you want us to do about this town? There's not a whole lot we can do, right? Yeah, Lucan is in uh, Recon, but as as I recall, there wasn't a whole lot in Recon that we could do. I mean, I'll check the houses here to see what that guy we just saw wants us to do, but I'm not sure what I'm missing here. I mean, we'll check Recon one more time but I don't think he's going to be open again. That's just the blacksmith. We don't care about that. Okay, let's uh, see if we can't find anywhere towards the north to drop our boat off at. Oh, we're on the... Uh... Okay, I see the continent that we're on now. We're on, like, the very bottom continent. Okay, I thought we were somewhere else, I guess. Like more than the middle of the map, it's kind of it's kind of weird that they actually have the giant body of water just in the middle, and all the other all the other continents are just kind of off to the side. What do we got here? Pirates' fortress. Oh, hello. Um, are we gonna kill pirates or what? Who the hell are you? Liberation Army? Never heard of you. Beat it. Hi there. We run things around here. I think these guys are recruitable. Let me see here. Uh... Oh, we have to have uh, Taiho and Yemku in our party. You know, we can probably come back with these guys later. Because it says we have to beat them in five rounds. Or under. 
and I'm not sure if Taihu and Yam Ku are actually leveled up, so we'll worry about that. Uh, not right now. If I can't find anything else to do, I'll stick them in my party real fast, level them up, and we'll give it another shot. But at the moment, I don't think it's anything terribly necessary. And I don't think there are any battles on the uh, boat here. I thought we might get into a couple seafaring and skirmishes, but no such danger at the moment. Alright, what's over here? Nothing. We can't get through here because, well, it's too small for a... It's too small of a passage for us. Fair enough. Okay, we can still access, we can still access our menu, so we can just uh, quick travel if we need to. But I want to see what else we can do here. Okay, right here is the gate or the bridge. Yeah, that's not working out for us. Okay, let's just go ahead and. Return to town, return to Rican, talk to the, try to talk to that guy again, see if it works, and then if not, well, I tried. Okay, uh, let's see where you at. Okay, we can't do anything in the wells. Just want to make sure. You're not the guy I'm looking for because you're just an innkeep. Yeah, I, I'd like to know where that guy is too. Just, uh, well, where is he? The thing that Jabba couldn't appraise was an urn. It was called the Nameless Urn. Yeah, uh, some guy said he has it over in Ante, but, well, he won't give it to me. If I could get it, then I could probably get him to appraise stuff in my castle, but the problem appears to be getting him to agree, getting the other guy to agree to give it to me. Comes here just once a month to shop. Okay. So he comes here to shop once a month. Now the question is, how the heck do we get it to be once a month or whatever? I'm going to rest up at the end here and see if that triggers anything. I don't think it will, but I might as well try. Okay, that's not it. Okay, yeah, I'm not entirely sure where the heck we're supposed to be going here. So, I'll be right back. I'm going to look around the towns again, see if I missed anything. And then, well, if I find it, I'll let you know. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's going to be hiding out in this little laboratory here. I just got to figure out how to get him to, a. Uh, I just got to figure out how to get him, um, out of the lab. And I'm only staying at the end here because I have one balloon on one of my characters, so I want to get rid of that. Yeah, okay, you don't have anything. And also, hopefully, maybe if I spend the night here, he'll stop uh, with his experiments and I can... No. Oh, come on. Where the heck is this guy? Like, I have no idea... I mean, I've been to every town that we could possibly go to right now. Unless we got to go to, unless we have to go to some other town that I'm not uh, aware of, like you know, on a different continent or something. Then I have no idea what the heck we're supposed to be uh, trying to accomplish here. Well, what do I get? What do you want me to do, guy? Like, there's nothing for me to do, as far as I can tell. Eh, screw it. Let's just upgrade uh, Gremio's stuff because why not? He's here. Might as well give it to him. Even though I don't actually want him here because, well, 
We have other people that I could have there. Yeah, it got pretty powerful. Okay, so how the heck do I get... Yeah, I already know. I already know all that. I just gotta figure out how to get into his house. Okay, I'll be back again. Okay, since I can't figure out how to get this uh, next part to play, um, long we tired of living up in the hills. Which hills, though? Okay, that's something I know. Um, I went ahead and put uh, Taiho and Yamku in my party. And I'm going to go ahead and try to level them up real fast and do the pirate thing. But first, uh, he has a pot here. I'm going to assume that it's nothing special, but a vase. Okay, good. That's, that's all I wanted to know. And there we go. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and get their weapons up to par, and then we'll take on the uh, pirates real fast, and then, well, one of these days I'll figure out where that, uh, that, uh, pharmacist guy is, somewhere up in the hills, which I really have no freaking idea. Um... Like, I would think over by, like, the Dragon's Den or something, unless there's a way I can cross, you know, before the Dragon's Den or something. But either way, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm not sure, but I think I made some progress here. Okay, here's the Dragon's Den right here. I don't think I ever went to the north over here to see what's uh, over there. Uh, Taiho, Yemku, you'll get your moment in the sun momentarily, but I think I might have figured out where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go around the Dragon's Den, possibly. Because, uh... I forget who said it, but somebody did actually mention something about um, him living up in the hills, you know, along the river or something like that. So if we go north towards where the river is, he might just be hanging around there somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, you guys are almost 28. Oh, we got the name one. Ooh, did that just drop out of nowhere? Because that's pretty awesome. Oh, that's great. That means we can get the... Uh, that other guy. Okay, this works out really good. Yeah, can we go over here or... Ah, shit. I thought we could go over here. <laughs> Damn it. My hopes, my dreams dashed. Oh well. I mean, there might still be something over here for me. I'm not entirely sure, but... No, it doesn't look like it. Unless he's like... Fuck off, guy. Go away. Unless he's like down in this little passage somewhere. No, it doesn't look like it. Ah, fooey. That's just gonna dead end right there. Are you guys sure you don't want to let me through here? Because if you let me through, that'd be fantastic. No? Okay. Oh well, at the very least, uh, let's go turn in that uh, nameless urn, so I'll be right back. Again. Alright, back in Rakan. So, or Rakon, or however you pronounce it. And let's go ahead and get our nameless urn appraised, and then stick it to the. Uh, oh, gee, I can't appraise it. I give up. This is most certainly a precious item. Now you gotta be part of our liberation army. <laughs> I can't believe there exists an urn that I'm unable to appraise. A promise is a promise. I'll do anything you ask. Recruit. Uh, we have plenty of money, actually, so that's fine. Yeah. Is that all? No problem. I'm no fighter, but my eyes will be useful. Yay, we got Jabba the Knot Hut. Awesome. Cool. I'm guessing somebody else takes your spot. Yeah. Oh, and we still can't appraise the urn, can we? No? Okay. Fair enough. 
Alright. Uh, anybody else have anything to say? Yeah, we got the Nameless Urn. That's great. Um, yeah, he's living up in the hills. So, okay. Let's just go ahead and go back to town. Go take care of the pirates. And then, well, I have no idea after that because I don't know where to go. I mean, I've searched everywhere. I even tried... Um, I even tried going back towards the beginning areas of the game to, like, see if you could do anything with uh, the towns over there. They won't even let you into that area anymore, so... Oh, well. Uh, I do want to save and heal up real f or at least save, and then we'll go ahead and head off. There's our appraiser there. Awesome. Oh, by the way, um, I didn't mention it last time, but I did go ahead and get new equipment from this guy for all of our party members, so let's do that real fast. Um, pretty much everybody got the ninja suit, because it increases speed, and then they also got the guard rings, which have 15 defense or 13 defense or something like that, so everyone got that. Uh, you got your extra shield. Um, Flick kept up with the uh, emblem for the extra magic power, so he stuck with that there. Uh... Uh, the two ladies, though, I got them different stuff. I think I got them... What did I get them? It was... I got them some other different stuff than the uh, speed stuff. What was it? I think I kept... I think I kept one of the ladies on the guard robe, possibly. Maybe both of them. Um, and pro probably just Cleo, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's see... Yeah, this, the ninja suit gives a nice defense boost and a speed bonus, so that's really good there. And then, yeah, I think wing boots, I think the wing boots, they were good for, uh, what's her face, uh, Cleo and Valeria, I think, but I don't remember if I got them. Um, I don't think I, Cleo can't equip the emblem for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, so I think I just gave them... I think what I did was I left Cleo on the guard rope for the magic boost, and then got her the the uh, wing the wing boots for the speed boost. Since well, for some reason she can't equip the emblem or whatever. So oh well. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and save, and then let's go fight the pirates. Now it says we have to get rid of them, and I think or get rid, if I get rid of them, I mean beat them and five turns so hopefully hopefully we're powerful enough uh, let's see Taiho and Yamku are back up to snuff here got pretty good attack powers with uh, their weapons are slightly more powerful than everyone else's but eh, their attacks are still about average really yeah, no, I guess they're yeah I guess Victor is the only one that's really beating out Taiho there yeah, Taiho definitely seems to be the better here. Well, Yamku is faster. Okay, there we go. And slightly better magic and luck, but other than that, the stats to count. Taiho wins. So I think we should be able to hit him, hit the pirates with a bunch of spells and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that uh, Tears uh, Death Finger doesn't work on them. That's just going to be a random, uneducated, uneducated guess there, but we'll still give it a shot. Alright, Pirate's Fortress, let's do it. Hey Angie, you're just wasting away, why don't you give us a hand? Wasting away? Me? Watch your mouth, I'll show you who's wasting away. Get ready to fight. Uh, fight, obviously. All right then, Leonardo, Canark, don't pull any punches. I don't think it says you have to do it in four turns or less or whatever, but well, apparently you do. Okay, let's go for a, a rainstorm on everybody there. I'm gonna try the deadly fingertips on Leonardo in the background. Grimio, you just kind of attack there, and we can do a unite with these two. So let's see how well fisherman attack. Let's see how well that does. I'm gonna guess that this isn't gonna work because if it did, it'd be real easy to kill him in three turns or five turns. 
Yeah, I guess they are counted as bosses then. Okay, fair enough. And you guys got plenty of defense there. 780. Okay, it does. Okay, so their unite attack unbalances them. That's good to know. I'm not going to bother with that then. We might not actually be able to beat them right now. I don't know. But we'll give it our best shot there. Uh, let's try Raging Blow. See how well that does. You just attack. Everyone just attack. Uh... Oh, Angie there. Hopefully this level 3 magic does good damage. 328. Okay, so they're not invincible or anything like that. They just got, well, good defenses. 453. That worked out pretty good. Alright, so let's go. Well, let's just keep it up. Raging Blow. Actually, you Raging Blow Leonardo just to get some damage on him. Everyone else will just uh, attack Canuck there. Damn Canucks. Okay, 650. That worked out really well, actually. Okay, I think we have... This is our third turn, so we have two more turns before we have to... Well, be finished here. If, if I have to redo this again, I'll, I'll do it one more time uh, before I give up. Uh, and not worry about the deadly fingertips or the unite attack. Because that kind of posed me over. I think... Okay, you're still alive. That's not great. You have a lot of health. Okay, there we go. You're dead. Now if we can just get rid of you. There we go. I think we got five turns there. That might have been four, I think. Hello. We get experience. Yay. Oh, dang. Lots of experience. Not that much gold, but good enough. Not bad, Taiho. Sounds like fun. I understand how you feel. Let's teach those Imperials a lesson. What about you two, Leonardo? Canuck? If you go, we go too. Of course. Hey, we got Angie. Leonardo. And Canuck. Okay, cool. More people that are just going to sit on the sidelines. Um, okay, uh, let me look at something real fast here. Yeah, okay, let's see. Alright, um... That's taken care of. I still have no idea where the heck this dang other guy is. And you know what? We need uh, healing on you guys. So let's do that. Okay. So. Let's look around a little longer here. Don't think there's going to be anything we can do, but it won't hurt to take another quick gander. I mean, if I have to look up where the frick to go, because I've literally searched all the towns that are available to us, and there's not a whole lot we can do, then I'm kind of stuck. Like, I'm guessing we can't go through there. Yeah, it's just a maelstrom. Or male storm, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so nothing there. What about over here? Not a whole lot. This is just back towards, yeah, the beginning of the game right here. I think. Yeah. Okay, I see where we are. And we're about to be over by the Liberation. No? No, the Liberation Army is still down here, so I'm... Okay. I'm guessing there's not anything in the middle part of the map right here, since it would actually show us a little island or something on the map. So that's fair enough. Okay, and this particular little mini-section is where? Oh, that's our... That's our base right there, so... Is that whole little... Middle Island, our castle? No, I don't think it is, actually. 
I want to see if there's anything else around the castle then. I mean, if we can't figure out where the heck to go, we might as well explore a little bit until something happens. Let me see something real fast. I want to see how strong you guys are now that you're actually caught up. 114, 87. So at the very least, you have the second highest uh, attack stat there. Taiho. Yemku, yeah, he's okay, I guess. Okay, does not look like there's anything on this particular little middle island at all. I don't think there's... It doesn't even look like there's any way to get on to that little island right there. That little one that we just passed, or the big one that we were looking at. It might just be a uh, non... get onable island there. Okay, can we get this guy yet? No. Okay. I was hoping that maybe the pirate recruitment would have done wonders for our alchemy finding -ness, but apparently that's not the case. If this is the whole world map, then it's not really as big as I thought it would be. Yeah, this is just right back to where we were. No, I guess there's, I guess there's more to it because it's not showing the side with the, um, what is it? Uh, it's not showing the side with like the dwarf area and stuff like that. Okay, let's go ahead and check out our new party members real fast, and then we'll be done for the moment. I'm probably just gonna stick back with uh, Cleo and Valeria, but I want to see what the new members look like there. They're probably they're probably gonna hang out uh, yeah probably where Taiho and Yamku hang out which is either the house near the front or some other floor that I don't remember. Either way uh, you guys put up a good fight. Taiho yeah, cool. Goodbye. And let's see, we got some other new members here. Let's see, we got Canuck. Yeah, good power at 100. That's not too shabby, actually. That's not too bad at all. Actually, you seem like you're pretty good there, Canuck. We have Leonardo, or Leonardo, and then it was, uh, okay, there's Anji, there we go. So Anji, okay, Anji's just better than uh, Kanaka, seems like. Less defense. And one less point speed, but other than that, better in pretty much every way. And then Leonardo. Okay, so Canox actually the weakest of the three, but they're all still pretty good. They're all good uh, physical fighters, it looks like. Okay, good to know. But either way, Cleo, you're back to the party. And then Camille, we don't care about you, sorry. Uh, Valeria, let's put you back in the party. And there we go. And then, the, the stuff that I got for... Yeah, the ladies could equip the wing boots, but it doesn't seem like the guys could, so... Oh, well. And then, Cleo, she just kept the guard rope for the extra magic boost, and they got the wing boots for the speed, so... They're still fast and everything like that, so good for them. And... That one lady that said, say hi to Matthew, you talk to Matthew, and he doesn't say anything except for party member change, so... I don't know uh, what to do there. But either way... I'm going to go ahead and try a little more off screen to figure out how to get to um, the the alchemist there and then eventually I'm going to give up and 
look online or something because I have no idea what to do here because I've been looking around for quite some time and I have no idea what the heck we're supposed to supposed to do at this point. I mean, I've been everywhere that I can possibly think of. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.